Hello, hello, hello. Bam, 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 bam. See what's going on there. Oh, I didn't mean that. <laughs> Tai Nugent, how's it going? Robert, how are you doing, my man? Uh, everybody's in the house. Uh, Barbara, nice to see you again. Everybody is in here. Thank you so much for the patience. And I see Anna. Anna, how are you doing? I'm going to send a separate thank you message uh, for a job well done. Me and um, the other guys are in Comunicado. So it's all happening. It's all happening. Guys, I really am um, appreciative of every one of you guys that's tuning in and that's joining me for this lunch and learn. And I want you guys to give yourself a round of applause. I know it's not easy. I know it's hard out there. We're all trying to build something of ourselves, to build brands, to leave something of a legacy. And that's the reason why I'm here to try and help you do that. My name is Prosper Tarovinga. I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital. And uh, my belief is that I want every business, I want everyone who's you know, who's putting in the work, who's doing all they can to actually create a business, to have a profitable business that they actually enjoy working in, all right? And I also believe that if you're an all-nine business person, all right, you should be able to create for your clients and you should be able to relate to them for whoever you're going to be taking money off of. Now, Stephen Seaton, thank you so much for tuning in and congratulations. I see you're getting, um, you know, more and more confident with your videos and your launch sequence. So that's pretty cool. Now, every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, if you guys are well versed with what happens here, um, we sit around and I teach a simple four step, um, you know, process where coaches, consultants and small service professionals um, would start learn to, learning to um, how to they, how, how they can package their services, how they can brand themselves, how they can market their services to people that actually need them. All right. So I help small businesses like you to actually grow. I help small businesses like you using um, you know digital marketing services, and I will help you to create an online footprint so you can optimize your business for um you know growth and for profit eric how's it going my friend thank you so much for tuning in so if this is your first lunch and learn thank you so much um i just talk a lot like this just to make sure that we gather as many people in but in any case those that are coming in late um will pro they'll probably catch the replay all right so if you've been watching my story and my stuff for quite a while you really notice that I want you to be really, really good at marketing. Roshi, Ronisha, how are you doing, my love? Thank you so much for tuning in, right? This is what I want you to become. I want you to get, be really, really good at marketing, all right? Now, marketing is nothing more than just applied psychology, all right? That's a given fact. You are just playing with people's mind, emotions, just so that you can get, um, you know, and provide a service to them. But in order for you to do that, those people would have let you get in front of them. And how do you do that? You do that by branding. All right. So marketing is really about connecting with, with people. It's really about persuading them. It's really about helping them. Most of the times you really have to help people by actually helping them. That's what marketing is all about. Once people start knowing you for a certain, um, you know, activity, once people start knowing you for a certain service, once people start knowing you as the person that can, um, you know, satisfy whatever need they might have, that's when marketing is successful. And Nicole, how's it going? Sorry, I haven't checked the, um, I haven't checked the post office or I haven't had my door ring, but you know, you see how busy I am. When it when the time comes, we'll fix it. Okay, you know you know one thing that I've realized in in all this time, I've actually noticed that a lot of people think that marketing is an immoral or nasty thing. How many people think marketing? Oh, you shouldn't put yourself out there. Oh, you shouldn't you know be saying things like that. Oh, you shouldn't brand yourself or whatever it is. Let people just find you. This day and age, it's not gonna work like that. All right. You know, and, and how are you? We should catch up. 
And Edwin, thank you so much for tuning in. You know, I know a lot of starving artists out there. They don't learn marketing because they don't want to sell out. They feel like, you know, their work is just so pure that they don't need to, to sell to anybody else. But guess what? Your audience is busy. People are busy living, busy looking after their kids, busy trying to make, um, you know, their, their lives profitable and enjoyable. All right. So if you don't learn marketing, you basically are, you know, working, working and nobody's going to know of your existence. All right. You know, there's also people like academics. Have you ever seen academics? They are no better. Their work is not accessible to the everyday person that can actually utilize their services. So now how do you get in front of these people? You know, because people are not going to magically appear on your door and start knocking on your door to say, hey, we're here to buy your stuff. Do you know what I mean? People are not going to magically appear to start reading your content. All right. Even right now. How did you, how did you end up being, um, you know, on this live? Can you just type in, how did you end up being on this live or being a friend of mine? How did you end up being in this space? Can you type in the comments below? How did you end up being here? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So at the end of the day, you really, really, really need to put out your brand so that it's visible. All right, so that people get to know who you are, they get to trust you, and then they get to actually, um, you know, start purchasing stuff from you. Because if anything, hey, Joe, how's it going? Thanks for tuning in. If anything, visibility is everything. Visibility is everything. All right. And Anna says you friended me. Rashina says I saw you on Facebook. Steve Thompson, thanks for tuning in. All right. And uh, Robert says, you make a friend request of me prosper. And I am almost grateful for that. <laughs> Anna says, I have no idea how I became friends. However, feel blessed that I'm uh, online and see you live. I'm on it. Thank you so much for tuning in. And Steve Thompson, how's it going there? Thanks for tuning in, by the way. So visibility is everything. Like, like what these other people are saying. I sort out, you know what I mean? You got to go out there and make sure that you are seen. When you're trying to build a brand or you're trying to build a company from the ground up, visibility earns you traffic, it gets you the exposure that you want, and it helps you build a, re a reputation. All right? Do you know what I mean? And Rashida, you just told about this. The universe must be going on about um, visibility. And you know what? Beds, um, you know, great minds think alike. So I like that. I'll probably check what you did. All right? Guys, without you being visible, without you being seen, nobody's going to know you, nobody's going to trust you, and nobody's going to want to buy anything from you. Even the best company, with the best offering, with the best value, can go unnoticed by the masses. And guess where the money stays? The money stays with the masses. All right? So the biggest central problem that a lot of people have with visibility, it's not, it isn't awareness. People know they have to be seen, but they don't want to put themselves out there. A lot of people don't know how to actually achieve this visibility without investing a lot of money, time or effort. But it's not going to work like that. If you want to be seen, if you want to sell anything to anyone, people have got to know you. And I was reading somewhere yesterday that people need to see your stuff between eight and nine times. In other instances, up to 21 touch points. And people can be following you for a year, for a month, for, for years, up until they raise their hand to say, hey, listen, we need to talk to you. So if you're not being seen, if you're not putting yourself out there, do you know what I mean? You have to invest the time, the money, the effort. You have to make the partnerships that will put you on a platform so that you get seen by other audiences. Yeah? So most of the marketing that we're doing, you know, and advertising, it actually you know, helps you, um, you know, get in touch of people. But some of these things take months, even years to fully kick in. You know, people would have been working behind the scenes to make sure that you now know the brands that they know. Coca-Cola, who doesn't know what a Coca-Cola is, but they are constantly advertising six to eight times a day so that you go and purchase a Coca-Cola. That is the same with McDonald's. You know, some of this visibility may cost tens of thousands of dollars. 
And for a small business person, you probably think, yeah, you don't have that much money lying around or you don't have that much money um, for you to spend. But there's some shortcuts that you can do. One of them is being practical, showing up on Facebook Live like this. First of all, this is free. Second, this is where you can actually connect with people and they can see your emotion, your enthusiasm and your passion. Do you know what I mean? So you need to start building this visibility. Even if you haven't started launching your brand, people need to know who you are. All right? And, you know, without you demanding any money from them or any time from them, they need to just get accustomed to getting your content. So you got to have the passion in the work that you're putting out there. Now, you can be asking me, how can I get that visibility? Well, First of all, you can get an endorsement from somebody who's already a trusted authority within your industry. Find out in the groups that you're in, find out in, in your industry or in your niche, who is constantly in your newsfeed or who is constantly being talked about or being referred to. Reach out to them. Ask to interview them. Ask to write an article about them. Guess what? That traffic that is already going out there searching for them, will also be coming through either through your blog or through your video. I don't know if you guys have noticed that I've been interviewing quite a lot of people and that way is my way of getting into their audience without me lifting a finger. Except just to click record on Zoom. All right? So first you could try and get an endorsement from a trusted authority. It could be, um, you know, your town clerk. It could be somebody who's always in the public eye. Try and interview them. Because at the end of the day, most of these people, they're always looking for opportunities. They're always looking for opportunities to put their face out there. So you can also be a platform for them to, 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 to put their word out there. And what does that do? You are automatically placed in their audience. All right. It's called automatic authority or borrowed authority. Because their people have already, they've been working hard to get that viewership. All you're just doing is tapping into that. It's easy. You can use Zoom. Z-O-O-M dot U-S. Get in a meeting with somebody, record that, put it up on YouTube, write a blog about it. You already have a show. You already have something that, that you can, you know, tap into. And that endorsement is good. Or maybe you can make a specific product that you can hand, get um, you know, in the hands of somebody who is already influential. Get them to review it. Get them to try your service for free or whatever small minimum service. And guess what happens when people are asked to do a certain favor like that? They would share it among their social media. And now you don't have to do most of the work. You know? If they have a respectable audience, you know, they might mention and instantly they would have put you in front of thousands of people and you have what is called secondhand trust from their brand that they've been working along. So that's a shortcut. Try and get endorsed by people that are already doing well in your industry. Don't get Saka, how's it going, my man? Do you know what I mean? You don't have to go as far as Nike getting Le LeBron James or... Or what is uh, Heineken trying to get Neil Patrick Harris? I'm not saying go out there and search out for people that are untouchable. Even small micro influencers within your niche, they are already being listened to by an audience. Tap into that. Do you know what I mean? Find out somebody who already has authority and has access to the clients that you're looking for. It will be easier branding for yourself. And also it's social proof because if you're seen to be hanging around with people like me or people like Robert or people like Duncan or people like Nicole, you're already put in a certain caliber of person depending on what brand those people have created for themselves. All right. So I've mentioned something like a, like an influencer co-op. Find out instead of arguing with people on the internet, create with them. No one is your competition. You will receive endorsement because they already have people that are following them. So in the groups that you're in, instead of going there to be seen, go out there to seek out other people that are actually going places, collaborate with them, and then cross-pollinate your audiences. That way you're also giving value to your customers. That way you're also creating for your customers. And that way people will start respecting you because you are well-known and people know who you are. 
And if somebody can trust to sit down with you, then that means you must be a good person. Alright? So this is not... It's not a matter of you waiting for people. You really got to start reaching out and connect with other people that are already going places. So if you work together with somebody like me and we produce a bit of content, I will share it to my audience. You know what I mean? And then we would have created something that we can collaborate together. You know? That's why even singers... They, you know, they merge their, their audiences together so that people get to know different audiences, you know, just like Jay-Z had a song with Linkin Park because Jay-Z was trying to tap into that sort of genre, you know? So all you've got to do is find people that are already somewhere and then they're doing stuff. Another way you can actually start getting a lot of brand visibility is going in and using local SEO. I don't know if you guys understand what SEO is. All right. Search engine optimization. Do you understand what SEO is? If you understand what SEO is, type in one. If you don't, type in the number two. All right. Can you type in if you understand what search engine optimization is? Type in number one if you understand. Number two if you don't understand what SEO is. All right. So search engine optimization is if you type in a page or if you type in a keyword that you're searching on Google, all right, and um, Google spits out a number of options that you can choose, that doesn't happen automatically, all right? Somebody would have influenced that to happen with Google. So with SEO, you only have to know two things, all right? You need to know optimization and authority. Now, optimization is how you manipulate a page uh, um, you know, um, you know, what do you call it? A page uh, information like the what your product is, who the person is, um, you know, that 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 will service that product and where you can be found. When you manipulate that that information to Google, so that Google's um, crawlers or Google spiders can read that, that is the optimization part of it. All right, and then authority authority is when Google can actually start thinking that your website is worth bringing to their audience. All right, so do you have other websites that are collaborating with you? Do you have other websites that are raising up their hands to say, yes, the information on your website is trustworthy? All right, that's where backlinks come in. All right, okay, so I just butchered that, um, you know, I just butchered that sort of, um, explanation, but you'd understand what it is. So when you type into Google and you see all those results, it just doesn't happen by accident. There is somebody who is optimizing that website and giving it authority behind the scenes with backlinks. All right. So you've, if you've probably seen my work or something like that, you know, I'm a major proponent of search engine optimization SEO. I love it. That's what I do. That's how I feed my daughter. All right. So it's, it's an ideal long term strategy that you can actually use to attract traffic by you building a reputation on Google because you are who Google says you are. All right. Do you know what I mean? It takes a lot of time, though. And it's very long. I mean, some people don't like doing it because you cannot see instant results. Sometimes it takes months on end that are needed for you to even start building the momentum. You know why? Because there's already thousands and thousands of other websites that are on there, you know? But if you narrow your focus and narrow your keywords and you really target on, on specific keywords that go in um, hand in hand with what you do and what you offer, and these days people just type in, um, I'm looking for a gas station near me, I'm looking for a tennis coach near me, all of those things, if you manipulate your website to be read like that by Google, you will start become, you will start be noticeable. All right. So if you, if you want to find out a little bit more, let's talk up after this conversation, how you can uh, enhance the SEO of your website. So you'll be able to start building ranking faster and simultaneously you'll be setting up yourself, you know, to, 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 to be a stronger brand that even Google recognizes and can refer traffic to you. So that's another way you can be going out there and branding yourself. Don't be afraid of marketing, guys. Don't be like those 
um, you know, artists that are afraid to market their work because they feel like it's cheating or, you know, they're, they're going to be, um, what do they call it? They're going to be um, a sellout, you know? And make sure whatever you do, whatever you make your people, um, you know, do or experience your brand, it has to be an experience. You have to leave them wanting more. That's the way that you stand out in the market. Some people make it very difficult for people to transact with you. You know, you go on their website, there's not even a way to, to, to communicate with you. you. You shouldn't make it hard for people to, to be in touch with you. All right? So when you're marketing, you want to show people how you actually do whatever you say you're doing. Because if you're not showing people, how are they going to know that this is what you're good at? If you're not going to be communicating with people, how are they going to know that you are the best, um, you, know, um, you know, mindset coach out there? The reason why a lot of people are not successful is because they either fear marketing or they think they're too good for school. Too cool for school, by the way. You know? And for some reason, if you're not a good teacher, you can never be a good marketer. Because people are always seeking information online. So if, you, if you're not providing value, then it's going to be difficult for you to actually market yourself. A lot of people are, are really focused on, you know, on whatever content they're putting out there, the delivery, the design, instead of what actually they're putting out there. Nobody cares how many, um, you know, I don't know what you, you guys do when you're writing out your blogs or how many um, fades are there in your video. Sometimes people don't even watch past the two minute mark. So you might go out there and, and invest a lot of money in, in expensive videos when you can actually just come in on live and show us what you can do by actually doing it. And these days, you know what? Your customers, they are spoiled for choice. If you're not showing up for them, they are actually maybe secretly judging you. Because if you can't show up live and show them that you can actually help them by actually helping them, then how do you expect people to convert? You need to be showing them the how. How do you do what you do? How do you know you know what you do? That's important. If, if, if it's not the most important thing that is branding people these days. So you got to make sure your personal brand is out there showing people you can do what you say you're doing. And then the why will just come in through your consistency. That's the reason why every second day, I mean, not every second day, every single day at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit down here just so that we can, you know, open up channels to, for us to start talking. And you would know that I'm the kind of person that will be there for you no matter what. You could have the cure for cancer, but if you don't market it well, who is ever going to know that there's a cure out there? You could have the world's most important message, or you could have the world's greatest story. But if no one is out there, we'll see it. If you're not going to promote it, if you're not going to package it intelligently, how is anybody going to benefit from what you do? You know? So at the end of the day, it's, it's all up to you. You know what I mean? Your brand becomes visible by being shared. This, this is the part where you get to share this video. When every time I mention the word share, you share this video. And if I have to explain it, you now have to share it with three other people. All right. So let's try this again. All right. See, your brand becomes very, very visible. People start sharing your stuff. People start reading your content, you start getting seen on social media. Do you know what I mean? Even on traditional media, even on whatever media, from your logos to your slogans to the photos that you tweet or the people that you hang out, all of that is branding. Whoever is in touch with your brand, whoever is in touch with your message, whoever is in touch with your advertising, your message really has to be consistent. Because people don't have time to get you to figure out stuff, all right? So once you start branding yourself, you know, you start being consistent because now people start trusting that you're going to be there throughout. 
You want to make sure you've got your brand objectives in place. You want to make sure that you, you're telling people the reasons why they are, you know, um, you know, in, 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 you know, the reasons why they're actually building the brand or whatever it is. I don't know what happened there. Did we finish? But at the end of the day, I really, I really hope that you guys are, are going to go out there and really create something that's, you know, of, of, um, of substance. You know? All right. At the end of the day, this has been Prosper. I can't see what happened. Um, yeah, some, something happened on this live. Anyway, thank you so much for tuning in. Let's continue the, the talk at the bottom there and see how we're all going to go. Enjoy the rest of your day.